Hey Klaus here, how's it going? I'm back with another e-commerce coffee break. Today I want to have a look at Shopify free themes and see how good they are. So let's dive right into it. So when you get your Shopify store and you get your initial setup, you have the choice to put one um, free theme on your store. Shopify offers nine free themes here. As you can see here, if you go in the Shopify theme um, selector, then go for filter by free. And you see these are the ones you can just download, install in your store, and you're ready to go. Today, I want to look into the, um, the blue one, this one here, which comes in two color um, selections, basically the default and the light one. And um, if we go on the demo, it looks like this on the Shopify um, theme store. So I have installed it on my Shopify partner demo store. We go in there and just see from the back end what you can do with the theme. So you see, I've already installed it here. And then if I go into customize, we will see the different options that it gives you. And um, as we can see here, we can work on the header. I have uploaded um, a, a demo logo up in here. Um, you can have a announcement bar here, which I would strongly recommend for promotions, uh, for free shipping notifications, maybe for your contact details. Um, so this kind of notification, announcement, promotion bar, hello bar, all the um, this, different names for the same thing is quite helpful. You can have this here and you can go as far as put also a link in here. So if you want to have a link um, going from here to a promotion, for instance, and you have the chance to obviously change the color of your promotion bar to something else. So see that works quite well so that you can um, basically put this into your branding or uh, assign that to your branding. So that says quite well. Um, the only thing is you only have one line that you can work on. So you cannot really split it up in different sections here, which I usually recommend for my coaching clients that you have a, a promotional section in here and then also some contact details of yours. So you can't do that here. So there's definitely a limitation there on the promotion bar. And other than that, there's not much you can do here for the header. It's literally only the logo and the promotion bar. And that's all the options that you have there. Now, if we go down here, um, you will have a hero image here. Um, it doesn't really offer you a slideshow, but you can offer a slideshow if you want to. Um, I usually do not recommend slideshows, um, but if you want to, um, you see here, there's the option that you can pick a slideshow and replace this here. As for this hero image, um, just a few uh, options that you can choose there. Obviously, you can choose the background image. Um, you can align um, the image the height you can work on, um, but you only have just rough an idea what you can do there. So you cannot do it by pixels and um, text size. Also, you only have large and me um, medium here. Um, so you cannot go as far and decide on the pixel size of the font that you want to have there. Then you have your heading here and some text. So I put in some uh, makeup value proposition here for the products. Um, so there's a little bit you can do. Uh, probably not enough to have a really good hero image there. Um, you want to possibly have a, a bit of more um, freedom on how you can move things. Um, if you want to move the button, for instance, which you can put here, um, or if you want to um, have a sub headline and a little bit of bullet points. So there's a bit of limitations in, in this regards, which you um, are with um, other themes, paid themes, um, just have more freedom to do the things in this section there. Then we have a featured collection here. I only have one product in here, one collection in this whole demo store, so you don't see more. And then we have a free text widget here. So there you can go and put your own text in here. So basically a hello from the owner or why buy from us. So that's a good thing that you have this. Um, you can have a, um, a promotional image in here with a little bit more information and then you can put in your testimonials which you should have on your homepage. Again, you can add more sections here. Um, see, so you can go down here, there's a gallery, you can put that in, you can have a logo list, for instance, a featured product, uh, a newsletter sign up, 
So there's quite a few things in there that might be helpful um, to put in the home page. Um, when it comes to the layout and how, how to move things around, I think um, that's where the limitations start for a free theme. Um, but generally, I think um, if you're just a starter, then um, it's a quick way to get your head around on how all these um, options here work and how you can, without any coding knowledge, work on your store and create things. For a conversion optimized store, I think there's not enough in here. Um, there you need a little bit more flexibility. I want to go in obviously the most important page of your store, the product detail page. And there you will see that you even are more limited than on the home page. So you see here, this is basically the same header that we've had for the home page. Um, there's not much you can change there. You can only say um, that's the only difference if you want to show the notification bar, the announcement bar, also on the product detail page or only on the home page. And then you have re product recommendations. Um, that means I don't have that in here. If you have more products, then obviously you may also like, you know, there's all other people that also have bought and then you have the um, options for the product page itself so that's basically this part here um, there's not much you can do here to be honest i mean um, you show your quantity selector which you should have anyway um, obviously you want to show variants if you have variants for your product um, you can add a dynamic checkout button um, which i'm not a big fan of and um, you can add social sharing buttons, which you should not have on your product page anyway. And then you only can go here and either um, increase the size of your product images. Um, again, there's not much you can do there. And that's pretty much it. So there is not much you can do here. So you can't, can't work with tabs. You can't really um, be flexible on how to create your um, product detail page. So that's really where the limitations are coming in. With paid themes, obviously, they come with a lot of more features that you can use there. Now, there's two ways to go around this. Either you work on the code yourself or you have a developer and then you go here and edit code and you change the th template of the theme as you like it. Um, so that's one way. Obviously, that's um, time and cost intensive to get this done. Or you work with a lot of apps, Shopify apps, that will give you additional functionality um, on your product page or, for instance, on your collections page. On the collection page, I found out there's not much you can do here. So the um, filtering system, for instance, is not very good. And um, you need a different app for that. And obviously, with all the apps, um, two things will happen. Um, three things, maybe. Um, first of all, the more apps you add to your store, the slower your store will probably load. Secondly, you have to pay for most of the apps for the features. So basically hosting your store on Shopify plus all the apps will become more expensive. And number three, you might have problems that apps interfere with each other and um, then mess up your code. So all of this obviously is not very helpful um, to have a streamlined store. So my recommendation there is if you're just starting, a free theme is definitely good, um, but you should have some money in the background to really think if you want to go for a paid theme. Um, there is quite a few themes out there that are really, really good. They offer a lot of features out of the box that um, would avoid to add more additional um, apps to your store. And um, it will also give you more flexibility on how to create a conversion optimized store that goes well along with your branding, with your color scheme and so on and so forth. So that's my little um, review of a default theme in Shopify. If you want to know more about on how to build a uh, optimized conversion, optimized Shopify store and how to create a digital marketing strategy to grow and scale your store, my e-commerce conversions um, coaching program might help you with that. If you're interested in that, then drop me a message and I'll get you all the details. Other than that, um, as always, um, share, like, comment as you do on YouTube. And uh, I see you in the next video. Have a good day. Mm-hmm.